Outland Conference basketball underway here on ESPN+. Plus. Tip is going to be controlled by the Islanders. Actually tipped back by, I believe, Littles, but into the hands of Simeon Fryer, so the Islanders have control. Murdoch's looking for the high screen. Skips it to the corner. Now inside, Laz Keys tries to jump it out. Nothing there yet. The 6'11 Lions altered that jump hook. Kicking it out. Second effort. Jalen Jackson steps in. Jumper. Didn't go. Mushila secures the board. They say out of bounds off of Manny Littles. So Texas A&M Corpus Christi will get another opportunity. Manny Littles in traffic was able to secure it, but apparently toes were on the end line. So the Islanders will extend this opening possession. Trying to loop it. They get it to Murdix. Shot clock had been reset to 20. Murdix gets it to Isaac Mushila. Off the dribble, nothing there. Can't get past Carter. Five seconds, excuse me, down to eight seconds. Murdix. He'll launch. It's good. Terry and Murdix hits the three. Murdix, as we've talked about so many times, does not look to shoot threes, but he's more than capable. Murdix. Let's see if they try to get it into the hands of Gordon. They'll start things out with Latrell Jones. Jones bodied up. Now to Gordon. Gordon. Little fade jumper. Won't go. Rebound Murdix in traffic. Murdix over the last like five games is averaging over six boards per contest. Murdix. No whistle as he hits the deck. Skip up the floor to Gordon. And cannot complete it. So, uh, it's going to be off of the Nichols Colonels. Oh, they said it was knocked off of the leg of Simeon Fryer. So, Colonels making the play on the ground was Latrell Jones on the hustle. Thus, 3 0 the score here in the early going. Ty Gordon. The thing about Ty Gordon, he's also one of the tops in the country in actual just field goal attempts. Carter into the lane. Float won't let go. Swatted out by Littles, but into the hands of Fryer. Drop off for Keys. He'll look to the left wing. Cutting into the lane is Murdix. Spinner off the glass. Nice look from Jalen Jackson finding his teammate, Terry and Murdix. Cutting to the lane, Murdix saw Littles give him a space. He took advantage. Lions will ultimately hand it off. He'll pull the trigger from three. That's no good. Lions, excuse me, Little will defend Mashila on the wing to Jackson. And there's going to be an illegal screen. They're going to call it on Murdix. Murdix was setting the screen on the top against Ty Gordon. And Murdix, they said, leaned in. So the foul called on Murdix. It's going to be his first. He'll take a breather. And Miles Smith, who had a really nice game last time out for Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. He'll come in early for head coach Steve Lutz. Austin Clotch calling the play from the side. Head coach of Nichols. Carter way up behind the half court. I think they were looking for an additional screen from Makai Collins. Did not come. Collins now with the basketball. Collins, who checked in for Lions. Littles is going to take a three. Off the window, will it go? Rebound. Collins taken away by Jalen Jackson. The strip. Makai Collins, outstanding rebound, but brought the ball down where the guards can get to it. Mushila gets it to Miles Smith. Three ball off the catch. It's good. Islanders up early. And a tough prolific offensively, but it's going to be who plays the best defense tonight will prevail. 8-0 the score, 1654. Same as Ford, keys to the game. Carter will get it out to Makai Collins. Collins. The 6-8 freshman from Baton Rouge. Hands it off to Gordon. Gordon on the wing, back to Carter. Carter. Skip it. Jones to the free throw line. Did a nice job catching it on, you know, in motion. Was able to separate himself from the defense. Miles Smith for three. No good. Gordon, crossover, dropped feed. It's going to be taken away. Simeon Fryer, they get it up the floor. 
pinned nicely by Latrell Jones. What a block by Jones. Gordon will shoot a three. Collins tripled up in the base. Out to Carter. Carter for three. He'll get the bucket. The Islanders had three men in the lane on the rebounder, leaving Carter open, and he exploited it. 8-5. Islanders had an 8-0 run to start. Five straight for the Nichols Colonels. Jalen Jackson up to Keys. Keys will pull the trigger. That's going to be off left. Excuse me, off right. Keys loves that mid-range game. May have been a bit extended. Oh, almost threw it into the seat. Somehow Ty Gordon was in the right place. Gordon gets it out. Collins into the wing to Carter. Carter wants to go baseline. Spins. Take it away. Jones the jumper. That will not go. Flying in is going to be Jalen Jackson. The point guard coming in to secure the defensive rebound. Jackson will be fouled by Jones on the floor. 15.09 on the clock. Trey Tennyson will come on for the Islanders in a moment, as well as Raji Lyons returning and Pierce Spencer for Nichols when we return. 8-5 the score. Southern Conference basketball on ESPN+. Plus. As we come to you back on the floor here at the American Bank Center in Corpus Christi, Texas, the Texas and Corpus Christi Islanders lead the Nichols Colonels 8-5, 15-9 remaining. Miles Smith will inbound, throwing it over the top to last Keys. Keys. Had it shipped away for the moment, but was able to regather. Mushila goes at Lions. He'll be blocked. But into the hands of Keys. Was never, they never got the shot clock reset. They didn't need to. The officials confirm. Last keys. Oh, and is it going to be a foul from behind? The rejection was there, but Collins trailing the play got last keys in the back. 14.47 remaining. So last keys will go to the free throw line, shoot two as he was fouled on the shot from behind. Again, the rejection was solid by Lyons, the 6'11 senior, but Collins checks out. And they'll bring on Ryan Maxwell, 6'7", 250 freshman out of Jacksonville, Arkansas. Represented Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi. Number of different players. One of two, by the way. Alabama, Manny Littles. Texas with Jalen White. Lions skip it to the corner. Spencer not looking. To make a play. Ike Mashila swipes it into the backcourt. Under 10 on the shot clock. Gordon will try to the crossover. He does. Launches the three. Will it go? No. Tipped up, and Mushila will secure the board. Mushila was battling with Maxwell, was able to tip it to himself. Mushila's an undersized forward, but averages 9.9 .9 rebounds per game. Tops in the Southland Conference. Just knows how to play the position well. Miles Smith trying to get by Lyons. Off the window and good. Got by the 6'11. Gordon can't get it. Nice defense. Trey Tennyson as he got back to alter the shot as Gordon was barreling towards the rim. Looking for contact. He shoots a lot of free throws. Simeon Fryer from three won't go. Pierce Spencer will give it up. Looking to the wing, Carter. Up top, Maxwell. Maxwell, out to Spencer. In and out, secured by the Islanders. A lot of substitutions getting ready to take place. On the next stoppage, 13-11 to go on the clock. Islanders lead it, 11 to five. Excuse me, up by six. Brinson, Brinson coming, to call, coming on for the first time, as well as Looks like Jackson's looking to come back on. Lob feed, Mushila goes to the opposite side. Knew where the shot blocker was going, Maxwell. Mushila felt it, went to the opposite side, used rim for protection. 13-5, an outstanding lob feed. Gordon, up top to Lyons. Lyons will look for Gordon. Islanders kind of switched for the moment. Carter pulls at the trigger. Carter giving some room, knocks it down. Keep 
Carter. Some clutch mid-range. Tennyson. He's going to be fouled going through. Spencer got him from behind. Tennyson kind of leaned that way, drew the contact with 12-19 remaining. It's going to be the third team foul against Nichols. Substitutions, Jones returns, Little returns. Gordon checks out for the first time, and Maxwell checks out. Brandon Corpus Christi, Simeon Pryor gets the breather. Miles Smith, Laz Keys also checking out for the first time. San Antonio Brinson. Jalen Jackson, as well as Terry and Murdix on for the Islanders. And being held, Carter held Brinson by the arm. He didn't agree with the call, but from our vantage point, he definitely, I don't know how tight the grasp it was, but he definitely had a hold of the arm as, he, as Brinson was trying to come off the curl. They'll get it out top, back to Tennyson. Tennyson for three. Off the mark, long rebound to T. Murdick. Cross court to Brinson. Mushila wants it. Nice fronting by Jones. Jones doesn't give him the space. This time, Tennyson had a little bit more room to work with and a little bit more time. He knocks down the triple, 16-7. Early, early lead for the Islanders, nine with 11.55 remaining. Carter slicing through, gets the lay in. Carter, through all types of traffic, was able to split the defenders. In deep to Mushila. Got Carter. Back at the American Bank Center in Corpus Christi, Texas, ESPN Plus, Southland Conference Basketball, Isaac Mushila for Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Mushila, one of the top, well, free throw shooters of the country, not necessarily for his average, but for his quantity. Hits the first. Mushila, number 13 in the nation in free throw attempts, number 17 in free throws made. He checks out after making both. On the floor. Mushila checked out. Steven Faramide has come on for Texas A&M Corpus Christi, the six foot nine sophomore from Houston. Littles drops it off. Latrell Jones had it taken away by Brinson. Brinson jumping into the passing lane. Nothing was there, he gave it up. Trying to make a big play, throwing it over the top to Faramide was Tennyson. And an offensive foul. Great defense from the Islanders in kind of an open situation going up against Spencer. Spencer, Pierce Spencer, the six foot three sophomore out of Porter, Texas, kind of dropped the shoulder and Jalen Jackson was ready for him. 18-9, Islanders doubling up. Nichols to this point. Nichols was on an eight game win streak before being defeated by Southeastern in, t in uh, Hammond, Louisiana, last time out. On a play that on a that went viral, Stephen Faramide off the window. That might might have been actually deflected and helped the ball find its way. Faramide playing on the defense, knocked away by Tennyson on the overplay defensively. They'll give it up to Jalen Jackson. He's not looking to shoot that three. Brinson will, but Jackson, like Murdix, is a guy that can knock down threes. Just chose not to on the double crossover. It'll go out of bounds off of Mitt Littles, trying to find Brinson in the corner. And Murdix actually stepped away from the basketball. He was standing out of bounds, wisely did not react to it to, stand, to regain control. Tennyson on the baseline will inbound. Murdix thought about it. Nothing there yet. He'll loop it out. It's going to be deflected. Carter. Gets a nice reverse layup looking for the call. Carter, outstanding improv to give himself an opportunity at that reverse layup in traffic. 20 to 11. Tennyson. Back out into the hands of Jackson. High screen for Ramaday. On the roll, nothing there. Picks up a dribble, needs help. Back to Faramide, back to Jackson. Jackson trying to take Jones. A little fade away. It's good. Jalen Jackson with the fade gives the Islanders a 22-11 lead. Jones. That lost to Southeastern Louisiana for Nichols. Jones with a nice jumper. Nothing but the bottom. 
Again, that went viral if you followed it online. The tip in from Burkhart for Southeastern Louisiana, ultimately securing the win at the horn. Unbelievable finish, snapping the eight game win streak, which included the overtime, the overtime loss, uh, the overtime win over Texas A&M Corpus Christi, excuse me, 83-80 back on February 12th. 22-13, Islanders lead. Ty Gordon with the basketball. Gordon kicks to the corner. Jones, they'll pull the trigger. It's good. They will launch trays, and they will do it effectively. Murdix in the corner, loops it forward to Brinson. Brinson lays it in, goes over Lions. For Ramaday with an outstanding little screen in the lane to allow Brinson to take it all the way to the rim. Jones, he's got a hot hand. Finds Gordon, spins to back to the baseline, wants to take it in, and there's going to be a big bump. They're going to call it on Miles Smith. I believe that is the case. Gordon, very physical player. Ty Gordon, by the way, fifth-year guard out of Tunica, Mississippi, leads the Southland in scoring, as I said, said 10th in the country at 21.1 per game. He's been the Southland Conference Player of the Week six times this season. Last year, was on his arrival, was the newcomer of the year. An all-conference first-teamer on the preseason. He is instant offense <laughs> anytime he is on the floor. Ty Gordon at the line, trying to go two for two. He does. 24-18, down to a six-point game. Jalen Jackson. Monitors led by 11 at one point. Jackson skips it. It's going to be slow. slowed down Brinson. And he is going to be, they're going to say, is it off of Nichols? Shielded by three different layers of players. I could not see the ultimate. They are going to say it's going to be Islander basketball. Shot clock will remain at 10. Brinson will check out. Paramide will come back off the floor as well as Mushila and Keys check in. Oh, they stripped. They got it to Keys and it was stripped away at the last moment. Spencer on the lean in. Gets it to fall. 24-20, the Nichols Colonels answering back. Jalen Jackson able to hang in the air once again to get it off the window. Up the court to Latrell Jones. Did he travel? They say no. Jones will back it out. He's defended by Keys. They'll get a switch. Ty Gordon now with Miles Smith in his pocket. Gordon kicks it to the wing. It's going to be over the top. Rebound Moshila. Spencer, as my understanding, has been coming off of an injury. An injury he may have suffered against the Islanders right at that time. Jalen Jackson can't get it to go. He will secure an offensive rebound and get the ball out to Tennyson. That was a good shot. Did not fall, though. Gordon launches the long three. That will not fall. Mushila with another rebound. Jackson to Tennyson on the way up. They're going to say off his hands out of bounds. Only player to start every game this season is an eight-point-per-game performer. One of the things that was exciting today is also his, brother, his son is here celebrating his birthday, and the entire building saying happy birthday to his son in the pregame. Swinging it back to Gordon. Jones over to Carter, and there's going to be a foul. Oh, three seconds in the lane. Lions, Raji Lions got caught in the lane. I think anticipating an entry pass. Jackson. Walking it up against Latrell Jones. They get it to Mishila on the wing. Mishila. Four points, four rebounds so far. In. Nothing there yet. They'll skip it. Miles Smith, baseline. Float drops it off in the lane. Nicely done finding last keys. Miles Smith loves to drive to the bucket down the baseline. This time stopped on a dime and found the man. And Raji Lyons 
They're going to say on the floor, it's going to be against Isaac Mushila. I'm not sure if he was in the restricted area. Did not have the legal defensive position. They're going to say it was not on the shot. It was on the floor. Isaac Mushila draws the call. It's going to be his first. Players on the floor for the Islanders. Only Mushila with the foul. Smith, Jackson, Keys, and Fryer each without a foul for the Colonels. Only Gordon has no foul. Spencer, Jones, Carter, and Lyons each with one apiece. Three fouls against Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Six against Nichols. The Islanders would like to, I would assume, get to the one and one. Took their time a bit getting the floor clear. Gordon picks up a dribble out to Lyons, kicks it out to Jones. Jones can't get it to fall. Flying in is the man we featured a moment ago, Simeon Fryer. Move, guys, move, move, move. Not liking them to just sit in one place. Steve Lotch telling his guys to move. I think Miles Smith was looking to catch Mushila on a screen roll, but the ball may have slipped out of his hands on the attempt as it went over Mushila over the inline. 28-20, 6.07 remaining. Islanders up by eight. It'll be Carter. Jones cutting baseline, cut off. Gets it to Lyons. Had it poked away by Jalen Jackson. Thought about three, no. Up fake, Mushila. He used three up fakes to get Littles and Lyons in an uncomfortable position. Again, Mushila may, they list him as 6'5", he may be 6'3". Carter picks up his dribble. Sends it out. Three ball from Raji Lyons. If you're Coach Steve Lutz, that everybody on the floor, maybe he's the one guy you want to possibly allowed that shot, but Lions really burned them. Outstanding effort from the 6-11. Trying to answer, though, with a long two is Lions Keys, showing he's got the range as well, not as far. That was a three for two. Carter. Trying to go down the baseline, kicked by Simeon Fryer. Trey Tennyson's gonna come on for Jalen Jackson. 5.06 remaining. Nichols basketball underneath. Almost put the ball in play while Mushila was still working on his shoelaces. Nine points for Carter thus far to lead Nichols. Littles lost the handle, but able to recover it was Carter. Carter. Back up top to Littles. Got the deflection. Shot clock down to five. Last keys holding his ground. Jump hook from Lions won't go, but Littles found his way for the offensive rebound. Big play, Manny Littles. Miles Smith. And they're going to say he took an extra step. They're going to say he took an extra step, Miles Smith. 32-25. The Nichols Colonels will have the basketball back on the baseline. Looking at the numbers. Out of their bench. Coaching staff thought it was two steps, thought it was a legal play. They should say no. As I mentioned, Carter with nine points. The Islanders are led 6-5 with Sheila. But getting all the way to the rim, but missing was Ty Gordon. Sneaking it through. Will it go? No. Raji Lyons secures the board. Quick outlet to Gordon. Gordon got, got the crossover by, to, by Simeon Fryer and lays it in. Gordon with a beautiful crossover to free himself. 32-27, five-point game. Tennyson hands it off. Looking for some help. Cross court to Miles Smith. Three ball. That will not fall. It's an open three. That is in the Islanders' playbook. Getting it, and it's going to be out of bounds. They finally, after the win over Northwestern State here at the American Bank Center, have put together three wins straight. Mushila into the lane, up faking, going to the left hand. McGo, no. 
tipped out to the corner. It's going to be Gordon who tracks it down. Using the up fake. This time, Mushila unable to secure. Behind the back, skip to the corner, Carter. Reese Nicholson's come on for Texas A&M Corpus Christi, his first minutes tonight. Solid defender for the Honors. Rebound controlled by Nicholson, knocked away by Fryer into the hands of Nicholson. Nicholson left open for three. Will it go? No. Gordon with a nice box out of Laz Keys moved him three feet out of the lane. Heavy screen by Lyons. Carter, no one out to guard him. Doesn't fall, answers Simeon Fryer gets another rebound. Jalen Jackson with the basketball for Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Mushila, he can make threes, but they're looking for the better shot. Laz Keys facing up with Lyons. Out to Fryer. He'll turn around the floater, it's good. The floater in the face of Carter. So Simeon Fryer makes it a seven point contest. But immediately Nichols back down to five. They did not waste time. Up and down this game has been. For Carter, he's got 11. Mushila gets it to Nicholson. A little bounce pass that Carter almost got a piece of. Jackson sends it. Jumper in and out for Laz Keys. Again, that is a mid range shot that he has taken all year long. Gordon slicing all the way to the rim, just weaving all the way to the rim. Gordon, beautiful crossover to get into open space, lays it in off the window. 142 remaining, it's a three point game with 139. Which team will close out the half stronger? Skip to Mushila. Up off the window will it go? Tip is good for Laz Keys. Laz Keys with the tip in. Mushila being aggressive offensively, but couldn't get it to fall. Carter spinning. He gets to the lane, to the rim once again. Carter down on the ground. The Islanders need to push, and they are going to. That's the instruction they've been given. Quickly out to Nicholson. Nicholson. Floater, it's good over the front of the iron. Got it up quickly before the shot blocker could react. Under a minute to go, 38-33, back and forth. Both teams delivering. Gordon, this time stopped by Jackson. Tries to use the high screen from Lions. He'll get it back to Lions. Carter skips it. Spencer for three. That one is good. Spencer buries it. Again, a little banged up coming into tonight, but... Rips it as have the possession. Tennyson will inbound. He'll throw it into the backcourt to Jalen Jackson, where Carter will come to pick him up. Jackson. Working the clock down to 13. Tennyson now. Stepping back under 10. Jackson on the crossover. Gets all the way through, and he's going to be... They're going to say he got... I think they said he he was thinking he was bumped, and they said no, he dribbled it on the end line. So the turnover gets it to Nichols. So with 5.05.5 uh, remaining, they'll bring in Jalen White, a three-point shooter, do the Nichols Colonels. Spencer. They're going to say, is it on the floor? No, they're going to say it's two shots. They are saying that it was on his upper motion and much to the chagrin of the Islanders coaching staff. I thought he was fouled well beyond the shot, the shot attempt. They're losing the argument. They lost the argument to the Islanders and Spencer looks to capitalize. Spencer trying to tie it from the free throw line. Rims out the first. So Terry and Murdix comes on for Texas A&M Corpus Christi. So missed opportunity, but Spencer Substitution, Brinson checking out with 1.4. They bring back on Murdix, as I mentioned. Spencer, 74% free throw shooter on the season. Did miss the first. I mentioned, 
missed the mark. Jalen Jackson, he'll throw it the length. Hiding. Latrell Jones. Nichols basketball to start the second half. Again, trailing by two. 38-36. Watch the first, watch the first play out of the halftime. They'll get back up to Lions. Lions is going to shoot a three. And he hits his second of the game. The big fella gives Nichols the one-point lead. The way they're celebrating that was the play they wanted, the play they got. Murdix in the lane. Floater gets the bucket back. Terry and Murdix took a step into the lane. Defender did not come out. He was able to drop in the floater. Carter. They get it to Lyons. What a huge spin from Lyons, dropping it in over the front iron. Five straight for Raji Lyons, showing his range, and this time showing his skills. Locked out of bounds, no. They're saying it's gonna be off of Simeon Fryer. Thought it may have gone off of Littles, that is not the case. 41-40, Colonels looking to capitalize on the Honitor's mistake. Ty Gordon drops it off for Lions once again. Taken away, Murdix. Off the window, lays it in. Gordon tried to extend, but tried to extend for the block from the opposite side, but Murdix able to slip it in off the glass. 42-41. Honitors capitalizing on the turnovers. Carter, he's going to be slapped out of bounds by, Mur uh, I believe, Mushila. But Carter got to the rim. A little, a rather easily, he had to work a little bit, but again, out, for Coach Steve Lutz, he needs to shut down that lane. Can't be dependent on just swatting the basketball. Carter picks up his dribble out to Gordon. Gordon, who has really got rolling in the scoring effort here. Littles, jump hook, will not go. Rebound, Ike Mushila. And Littles jumping, trying to... Uh, trying to step out and jump out defensively. It's called for the personal. For Littles, that's going to be his second. Jalen Jackson will inbound right in front of press row. And he'll throw it into the backcourt to Terry and Murdix. Keys. Looking for some help. Needs somebody coming back to the basketball. Jalen Jackson with it. Gordon, kick out. Simeon fire three. It's good. Jalen Jackson on the penetrate pitch. Down the shooter in Fryer. Monitors up four, 45-41. 17-45 remaining. The heavy screen by Lions. They free out Jones. Jones with an answer three. What a huge shot for the Colonels. Keys off the window. Murdix found him. Keys got behind the defense. Slips it in off the glass. 47-44. Murdix. Slick pass. Carter. Taken away by Mushila. Mushila goes at Lions. Off the window won't go. And it's going to be Littles out of bounds. Are they saying out of bounds or are they saying a foul? Let's call, let's see what the, the whistle is. They're going to say it's going to be out of bounds. Manny Littles landed on the line. Just jogging in a circle is the inbound play. And then they'll break from that into different areas and they'll have an outlet. Mushila will receive it, wants to reverse, kicks it out. Jalen Jackson up fake. He's got the 6'11 on him. What does he plan to do with him? Wants to take him off the dribble. Kicks it out to Laz Keys. Nothing there yet. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Back to Jackson. Jackson once again kicks it out. Three ball. Off the rim. Won't go out of bounds. Off of. They're going to say Ike Mushila. 16.52 on the clock. 47.44 the score. Lions will check out. He keeps. He's been get, getting caught having to defend the point guard. They're going to bring in the smaller Pierce Spencer. Obviously at six foot three. The sophomore from Porter, Texas. It was all lines to start the half, though. Five straight hit the three on the first possession. And then an unbelievable spin move to get things rolling. Kick to the corner.
Spencer. Off the window, they're going to call the blocking foul. It'll be shots coming up for Spencer. Murdix picks up the personal. It's going to be number three trying to step in. Miles Smith coming off the bench. Reed Spen Pierce Spencer, excuse me. 9.5 points per game in the regular season. 12.6 in conference play. Free throw numbers staying about the same, 74 to 75 percent. 47-45. Spencer trying to cut it to one. He missed two free throws at the end of the first half. That would have tied the game. Ultimately, the Honors win in the locker room up two. He makes them both here. Jalen Jackson feels a double team. They get it to Mishila, back to Jackson. Jackson with the push, gets by Gordon. And does Jackson stay with it? No, Spencer comes up with it. Tipped up, who's got it? Simeon Fryer does. Loose ball, and there's gonna be a foul. And Latrell Jones, Latrell Jones very animated, got away with a lot there in front of the official. Sixteen, fifteen, boy, that was erratic basketball for the moment. Who had it? Gotta stick around to find out. Simeon Fryer tries to get to an open space. He'll get it into the hands of Miles Smith. A lot of jump D coming from Nichols. Really disruptive. Fryer with 14 seconds. They cross it over to Jackson. Quick swing to Mushila. Mushila from the wing. It's a three ball. Isaac Mushila. Unexpected three. Again, not what he normally shoots. And a block shot by Jalen Jackson. Ty Gordon shooting the three. In deep, Mushila. Up faking off the window. Got Littles off the ground. Was able to score underneath on the counter move. 52-46, Islanders up six. And Carter will walk it up. Carter trying to cross over to Spencer, deep three. Won't go, rebound, tipped up, last keys with it. Littles could not connect on the tip. They'll get it to Jackson and they'll walk it up against Jones. Jalen Jackson to the wing, Fryer. Fryer for three, that's going to be well short. But Fryer gets his own rebound. Can't get it. Fryer gets another rebound. Floater, will it go? No. And a Spencer, Carter, Lyons, Gordon, and Jones for Nichols. Lyons on the top, defended by Mishila, and just really throwing some elbows. Didn't get it. And a rebound, Miles Smith is Gordon, who only has six points, averaging 21 per game. Has that one slide out. Smith loses the basketball for the moment. San Antonio Brinson, who's checked in, now with it. To Mashila, who hit a three earlier. Feels the heat of a double. They go back into Mashila. Back out to Miles Smith. Open look three. Won't fall. Tipped out. Mushila with the basketball. He'll get rid of it. Finds Miles Smith. Now to Tennyson. Tennyson for three. How does that find its way in? It hit an awkward part of the rim, but somehow found its way down. 55-46 Islanders. Carter jump double. They quickly get it under the wing to Jones. Jones, how many answer threes has Latrell Jones come up with tonight? Every time the Islanders hit a three, Latrell Jones with an answer. Brinson gives it up to Tennyson. He'll pull the trigger. Won't go, and it's going to be out of bounds off of. It's going to be off of Tennyson. Nobody touched it on the rebound effort. Murdoch is going to come on. Thirteen twenty-six remaining. 55-49. Miles Smith checking out for Murdoch. Last keys is going to come on for Ike Mushila. 
Sheila with only the one personal foul. Keys on. He has no foul, so they're in a pretty good shape right now. In that aspect, 13-26 remaining. The, the screen by Lyons kind of snapped the head back from Tennyson. Steve Lutz was not thrilled. Gordon with the basketball. Jump back to Littles. Littles for three. He hits the triple. Manny Littles, only his seventh three of the season. 55-52, Brinson on the top. Waiting, gets it to Friars. Quick swing to Tennyson, back to Brinson. Goes at Lions, can't get it. Rebound Littles. Strong, hard move. Spencer, drop feed to Littles. Beautiful look from Spencer. One point game, 55-54. Hand off to Tennyson. Floats it out to Murdix. Murdix looks inside. It's going to be a foul on Lyons over the back of Laz Keys. That's going to be the third team foul against Nichols. Only two against the Islanders thus far. Jalen Jackson looking to come on. He'll come on for Trey Tennyson. Jackson and Murdix, that double point guard combo. It's been so effective for Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Loop to Laz Keys, the floater is good over Lions. What a great jump hook assist from Terry and Murdix, 57-54. Every time the Islanders make a play though, the Nichols Colonels come back. Gordon trying to get around. And there's gonna be a foul on Murdix. If it is, that's gonna be number four. Murdix kind of dove into the play and Gordon took advantage of him being off balance, so that's going to be number four. They attacked the point guard Murdix. Miles Smith, Miles Smith will come back on. Terry and Murdix, who has been so good for the Islanders as of late. Murdix in particular, looking at some of his numbers. He had 10 points against Houston Baptist, but 20 against Northwestern State, 21 against Northwestern State this for the first time. He does a lot for this team, and one of the things that, that he's they didn't understand is the fact that he rebounds so exceptionally well as a guard. They'll put Miles Smith on. Manny Littles wants it in the corner. Calling for it is Gordon. Now they're going to get him some space. With Jalen Jackson, Gordon, wants to spin baseline, and he'll go to the free throw line. Gordon was able to just feel the body off of Jackson, open, realized where the open space was, took it down the, down the baseline, and ends up at the free throw line. Gordon so crafty. Down three, the Nichols Colonels to the Islanders, 57-54, more to come on ESPN+. Plus. As we come back to the action here at the American Bank Center, Ty Gordon hits the first free throw attempt. Fouled going to the rim after slicing baseline, spinning off the defender, Jalen Jackson, and doing what he does exceptionally well, getting opportunities. Gordon, three of three from the line, did they make it four of four? He's got eight. Jones and Carter each with 13 for the Nichols Colonels. Mushila and Keyes each with 11 for the Islanders. 57-56, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. After the two made free throws, San Antonio Brinson gets it up top to Keys. Looping it and Raji, Raji Lyons. They tried to do that little spin left handed hook feed into the post, but Lyons so long. Gordon with it. Gordon defended by Smith. Picks up his dribble back to Lyons. He'll give it to Gordon, who cut back door. Out to Carter, Carter for three. In and out, rebound, loose ball. San Antonio Brinson comes up with it. Jalen Jackson, he's trying to post up against Lions. Nothing there, Brinson to the elbow. Gives it to, to Smith. To Simeon Fryer, nice reverse layup as he lost Spencer. Fryer using the bucket. To help protect, 59-56. 
up top, Spencer. To the wing to Gordon. Gordon defended by Jackson. Gordon kick out. Deep three from Spencer. They hit another. Wow. Nichols Colonels. With the made three from Spencer. He's got three. No, excuse me. Two triples today. Tied at 59. What a huge shot. Here's Spencer. To Keys. Brinson, nothing there yet. Under 10. Brinson gives it up to Fryer. Miles Smith, he gets, he gets the call. Nicely done on the stop. Drew the contact off of Lyons, who was trailing the play. They say he will shoot two. Latrell Jones looking to come back on for Lyons. That's going to be his third. Four fouls on each squad here in the second half. Shot clock was winding down. At that point, the Islanders just, start, just started sending cutters. But Smith wisely gets the big fella off the ground. Jalen Jackson checking out as Trey Tennyson comes on. Second effort is good. Carter. Stepping up. Again, wanting the basketball is Gordon. They can't get it to him yet. He's trying for it. They're trying to deny. Gordon off the screen. Just unbelievable quickness. Spinning to the hole and gets the lay-in. The backside help came too late. Ty Gordon, he wants to put the team on his back right now. He's calling for it in every possession. Smith, back up top to Brinson. It's gonna go, gonna be deflected. They're gonna say no. No deflection, that was a call from the Islander bench. They're gonna say Nichols basketball. With the score tied 61-61, opportunity for the Colonels. 9.21 remaining. Pierce Spencer gets it back to Carter. Carter. Can hand off to Gordon. Trying to free himself. He'll kick it to the corner. Spencer steps inside. Throws it back to Gordon. Gordon for three. And it's good. Ty Gordon, kind of a line drive three. Found its way home, 64-61. Ty Gordon coming up with some huge plays here in the second half. Trey Tennyson can't get that to go. Loose ball. Brinson can't get the finish. Tipped out. Tennyson secures the ball, and Gordon will pick up the personal. So the Islanders able to get the whistle off of Gordon, but only the first foul of the game. Fifth foul on Nichols here in the half. Jalen Jackson returns for Miles Smith. Down three, 64-61. Aiden Corpus Christi with the basketball. They get it to Jalen Jackson. In deep, last keys. Jump hook is good. Up and over Littles. Rolling over his left shoulder. Makes it a one-point game. Gordon. They go away from Gordon this time. Gordon pushed off. Jackson at least sold it as such, but did not get the whistle. Gordon behind the back, slicing on the double team. And there's an offensive foul. This time, Gordon on the penetration was picked off by the backside D of Simeon Fryer. Wave off the basket. Honors will have it, trailing by one with 8.15 remaining. Simeon Fryer stepping up, drawing the charge, and that gets you bonus points in Steve Lutz's book. Ike Mushila looks to come back on. He'll come on for Brinson. Six rebounds for Mushila, 11 points thus far. Jackson will be defended by Carter. Mushila's defended by the smaller Spencer. They're going to probably try to attack him. That's going to be the case. Lob feed to Mushila. He gets it to go. So they capitalize immediately. Thought the lob feed might have been a bit short, but Mushila went up and got it. 
Islanders now lead by one. Gordon weaving, kick out. A throw to the corner. That's going to be short. Rebound, Trey Tennyson. Tennyson. And he'll be fouled going to the free throw line. Drew the call off of Latrell Jones. Remaining here at the American Bank Center. With 9.02 remaining, it was 64 61. Nichols. Since then, the Islanders have scored five straight, leading 66 64 after the made free throw from Trey Tennyson. Second attempt. Good for Tennyson. Up three. Ty Gordon has been a beast in this half for the Nichols Colonels. Jackson, one of the best defenders in the Southern Conference, but Gordon, so triple quick. Littles, they get it to, to Jones, wants to take Mashila. He'll pull the trigger in his face, it's good. Latrell Jones threatened the, the, uh, the drive, took that jab step, got Mashila on his heels, lifted off the ground, knocks down that J. 67-66, it's the kind of game we've had all night. Mushila up to the high post, Keys. They're working to the side. Tennyson, floater, will it go? No, Keys trying to track it. They get it to Jackson, back to Mushila. Jackson reestablishes himself in the game. There's the basketball. Keys with Littles. Taken away, Jones, they've got a two on one. And a, and a nice play. Truthfully, a smart play by a smart play by Jalen Jackson because he thwarted the two-on-one fast break in doing so. That's only the fifth foul against Texas and Corpus Christi and the second against Jackson. Raji Lyons is going to come on for Manny Littles for the Nichols Colonels. Drop off, they look in deep. And there'll be a foul on Mushila as Mushila came in to try and help. Jones ends up getting a little bit of contact and spinning off of it, so they'll call it on Mushila. Only his second, but six team foul. Nichols already was seven, so both teams will be in the bonus, no matter what, moving forward. Lions who has shown a really nice touch tonight, the big fella. Knocking down a couple threes. Perfect from the line. He was a preseason first team selection and showing us his skill set tonight. Jackson picked up by Carter. Jackson up against Carter. Finds keys, Mushila wants it, can't get it yet. Kind of credit to Latrell Jones. Jones just taking away the passing lane. Finally having to step out is Mushila. Taken away by Latrell Jones. Jones got the swipe. Gordon just turns up the speed, lays it in. Three point Colonels lead 70 67. Gordon so fast with this first step. Jackson to Keys, Keys the jumper, won't go, tipped up. Who's securing it? It's gonna be not Mushila, came out of his hands at the last moment. Gordon with it, cross court to Carter. Going baseline to Raji Lyons and a, the big flush. And Jalen Jackson's gonna position himself for the timeout. Jalen Jackson with the basketball for Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Trailing by five, 72-67, the Colonels. All of a sudden making strong plays. Oh, a travel on Mushila in the double team. Gordon and Lyons double him in the low post and they say he pulled the pivot foot. The Colonels 12 of 18 here in the half, 66.7%. And they've hit six of ten threes here in the half. Spencer drops it off for Carter. See if they continue with the formula of get the ball to Gordon and let him go. They get it to Spencer for three. That's going to be short, but a long board to Latrell Jones. 
Jones extending the possession. Up top to Lions. Lions will get it back to Spencer. Spencer, the floater from the free throw line will not go. Who tipped it in? It was. They're going to say Latrell Jones. Tipped out, and it's going to be three on O. Gordon lays it in. 76 67, 410 remaining. The Nichols Colonels opening up in deep to Laz Keys with the jump hook. Will that one fall? No. Out of bounds off of. That's too good. It'll be Carter breaking to the basketball. Can't get it to him. Finally, Gordon will receive it and ultimately get it back to the point guard, Carter. Under four minutes to go. 3.45 to be precise. Carter defended by Murdix. Murdix playing with four personals. They get it to Gordon. Gordon trying to back in on Jackson again. Spinning baseline, nothing there. Let's take that fast first step, nothing. And it's going to be a travel on Gordon. Jackson took away baseline. He took him and put him behind the board. He tried to push his way into more of a shooting position and doing so called for the travel. Murdix will pick up the basketball. 332 remaining. Shots have got to fall and they got to fall in a in a rapid fashion. Miles Smith coming on. Simeon Fryer looks inside for Laz Keys. Left hand window. Cass, uh, Keys slaps it in for his 15 point. Down to seven. The jump double. They'll get it out to Lyons. Quickly to the corner. Jones thought about three. He's, been make, he's made a, his share tonight. Little step back jumper. It's good. My goodness. Latrell Jones. He in Thibodeau, similar fashion, just clutch down the stretch for the Nichols Colonels. Latrell Jones. Take it away. Spencer coming up. He lays it in after taking it away from Murdix. Back to 11. Clock continues to wind. Clock is winding. They don't, they, rolling it up means nothing to them because it's, it's not a dead clock. Drop feed, Laz Keys on a nice look for Murdix. Keys now with 17, but Texas A&M Corpus Christi cannot trade buckets. They've got to get stops if they want to get back into this. If not, the Nichols Colonels will win their third in a row against the Islanders. Spencer gets it over to Gordon. Gordon swings it, Lions, Lions for three. That will not go. And Spencer, they say no foul. Spencer able to secure an offensive board and keep the clock moving. Gordon trying to get by Murdix. Hesitation, kicks to the wing. Carter can't get that to fall. Tipped out, Murdix with it. He's got to be fouled, and that's a smart play by Spencer unless, unless he, they get the, the X, which they're not going to get. It'll be out of bounds. It's, it'll be free throws coming. Whoa. Trey Tennyson will inbound. Should be free throws. If it's a foul, it's free throws, is it not? Which they will figure out, and they will get that straight here. Mo basketball back. Murdoch takes the foul shot, the first. So they'll slice it to eight, possibly seven. And we'll have the basketball. That one's going to go off the back iron for Terry and Murdix. But once again, an eight point contest with 129 remaining. Miles Smith, Murdix, Tennyson, Fryer, and Keyes on for the Islanders. Jones, Carter, Spencer, Lyons, and Gordon for Nichols. Murdix trying to cross over with Jones. Kent does again. Throws it away. It's going to go up the floor to Gordon. Gordon with a left handed layup. Murdix got in so deep and they took away his passing lanes. Thought he saw a shooter. It was taken away and laid in. A foul called on Nichols. They'll go to the free throw line. Will the Islanders? It'll be Miles Smith down 10 with 106 remaining. 
Tennyson checks out. Jalen Jackson on the floor. The Nichols Colonels turning it up here in the second half. Outscoring the Islanders here in the second half. Missed free throw for Miles Smith. That tells you something. Miles does not miss many. Lions, did he, and a time. Make it six of six for Ty Gordon. 21 points. And Murdix. Had the turnover. Carter with the flush. Trying to do too much was Terry and Murdix, and the ball got free. In the end, the Nichols Colonels. 48 seconds, a little chatting going on between the bench and the players on the floor from Nichols. The Honors bench, that is. Last Keys with the rebound. Skips it out, Trey Tennyson for three. In and out, rebound, Gordon. Honors are not going to. Foul, trailing 86-72. About a seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock, so Nichols will get him shot up. Gordon, 21 points, Jones with 19. Back up. 17 for Lyons Keys. Shoots the long three before the shot clock expires. Does not make. Miles Smith will launch a three the other way. 86-75, six. Seconds remain, Steve Lutz and Ty Gordon having a quick conversation. 